Hey guys, original Boris here. Uh, gonna do a at the movies movie review. Uh, this weekend or last night, I went to the drive-in. It was opening weekend for the drive-in. Uh, they were showing two movies. They were showing The Hunger Games, and they were showing One for the Money. Only only uh, stuck around to watch The Hunger Games. It ended up getting too late, so I did I didn't watch uh, One for the Money. But uh. Did not know what the Hunger Games was. I did not know that they had a book. I, I knew nothing about the hype following the movie. Um, had never heard of it, to tell you the truth. Um, from what I heard, it broke records this past weekend. It was the highest grossing movie this weekend. And from what I heard, the third highest grossing movie of all time. So apparently it's a big movie, but I was completely clueless as to what it was. The only reason I went was because it was opening weekend at the drive-in. So I decided to go and check it out. So going into this movie, I knew nothing about the book. I knew nothing about the hype. I just went in fresh, gonna go to go watch a movie. So, and um, to be completely honest, uh, I thought the movie was uh, it was pretty good. Um, I didn't know nothing about the hype, so I mean, I guess I guess the, they they expected it to be a lot better. I wouldn't say it was like ex extremely great. But it was pretty good since I knew nothing about it. But um, when the movie first got started, I didn't really know what was going on. For some reason, I thought that it was on another planet because it showed these uh, these kids out in the woods. And then it showed like a spacecraft and they acted like they didn't know what it was. But so I didn't I didn't know nothing about what was going on myself. But it, it, it does go on and explain it. And uh, this movie takes place way, way, way in the future. Apparently something happened where the population of the earth decreased and everybody got divided into districts. So you have 12 districts. You got your like your rich class, your middle class, and then you got your like really poor district, which would be uh, District 12. And uh, you people were put into these districts and every year they have like a lottery and they choose a boy and a girl to go to the city and they compete in honor of their district and they compete to the death there can only be one survivor and uh from district 12 there's a girl a little girl her name gets drawn but her sister jumps up and volunteers for her because she doesn't want her sister to compete so her and another boy actually end up going and uh, to compete in these games and uh the first hour or so of this movie is very slow paced you have to really pay attention to what's going on i mean it's good but you have to really, really pay attention to what's going on because it can be, it can drag and it can be pretty slow paced at first. But uh, when the girl and the guy get over there, they end up meeting a, a guy from District 12 that won the games several years back and he's supposed to give them pointers on what they can do to win. And that guy's played by Woody Harrison. He's a drunk in the movie and he does a pretty good job. Also, Lenny Kravitz is in the movie, which I thought was pretty cool that he was in there. He plays kind of like an advisor to uh, the girl and the guy from uh, District 12. And when, when they do explain what is going on, what the, the kind of game that they're going to be in, they have it on TV, everybody's watching, it's a show. It kind of reminded me of The Running Man. I mean, the storyline was a lot different, but just like, you know, you got people competing to the death on TV. So it reminded me of The Running Man from 1987 with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he was in a game and a reality show and he had to get through this game alive and all these people were trying to kill him. So, But I always liked The Running Man. I always thought that was a really good movie. But that's what The Hunger Games reminded me of. But anyway, so these kids, they start going through training. They start getting ready. They're supposed to get like sponsors and that'll help them get through this game alive. And it's it can be... Like like I said, the first hour drags, but once the game actually got started, when it starts, it can be pretty gruesome. You see kids like get killed, which was kind of like a little shocking when uh, they start killing kids. But that's the whole point of the movie. And it's supposed to be like, I guess it's an arena, but it's in the woods. It's in the mountains. And there's barriers that they can cross or that they cannot cross if they go too far past the barrier. Somebody that's controlling the games behind the scenes can do something to make them come back into the arena or what is supposed to be the arena which is just the woods uh, but it's 
the killings can be some of them are pretty gruesome but there's not really that much fighting it's like i said the first hour is just dragging along and the second hour is just pretty much them just trying to survive in the woods it mainly focuses on the girl from district 12 and uh little bit about the guy not too much about the guy but a lot about the girl it's the mostly following her and like the the other kids from the other district they're intimidated by her for some reason so they all form a clique even though there can only be one survivor they all get together and form like a group just to try to kill this one girl and along the way she gets help from another little girl that probably looks like she's 12 and you know you got it's pretty pretty interesting movie but like I said I had never heard of it there's it's I guess the book was a big huge hit um, so that there was I guess there's all this media following the movie and everybody was all excited about it coming out this weekend I don't know how I could if it's such if it's so big I don't know how I didn't hear about it but I was completely clueless going into this movie but I, I have to say that it was pretty decent it wasn't bad but it it was all right. It was, I, if I had to give it, you know, like a, I'd give it a, maybe a 3.5. Just because the first hour is so slow paced. But then once it gets into the action, it can, it can be pretty good. There's also like a love story. Support, you know, the two kids from District 12, they end up falling for each other. And there can only be one winner. So it makes the game interesting because they're falling in love while. They're competing in this game with only one being able to survive. So, pretty decent movie. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reviews on this movie since it, apparently it's so big. So, check out other uh, reviews out there. Let me know what you think. If you watch the movie yourself, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll try to uh, I'll try to look more into it. I'll try to uh, see what the book's all about. Somebody asked me today if I had seen the the movie because they had read the book. So they were excited about it, and it was funny too, because I was like, I didn't even know there was a book, but but yeah, I told them it was pretty good. So anyway, that's my review on the movie. I saw it last night at the drive-in. Good night at the drive-in. Um, hopefully, I'll I'll get to go again next week, and I'll have another uh, update by then. So thanks for watching. That's my review of the Hunger Games. Pretty good movie. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.